Welcome back, everyone. I'm here with my guru and mentor, Visti Larson. Visti, it's so nice to have you back. Thank you. My pleasure. Now, we're doing kind of a round robin uh, Jyotish series of different topics um, that, are, that will be helpful for the novice to the intermediate level astrologer. Um, and so there, there's one topic that I've been wanting to ask for some time. Um, Nietzsche Bunga Raj Yoga. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there, there are some hard set rules, like for example, uh, if a planet is, is, is Nietzsche in the Rashi, but it's Ucha in the Navamsha, like we would, we would take that strength calculation and say that it's, it's being pulled out in Nietzsche Bunga Raj Yoga, or if it's, um, if it's conjunct, um, the exalted ruler of that sign or receiving drishti from. There's certain things that we would say this forms a Nietzsche Bhangaraj Yoga, but then there are more nuanced levels of Nietzsche Bhangaraj Yoga, which, you know, I'm sure you can elucidate a little bit more and tell us more Please, about I will and, do. How, and how this affects a person. Mm -hmm. If you if you wouldn't it's, mind, it's, I would really appreciate it. <laughs> oh, it's this is this is a quite fun topic and it's uh, useful. For astrologers if they know how to really apply it if they if you really know how to apply it you can make some startling predictions mm -hmm. um, and not because you need to sh surprise the client but you you you, the, you you see we astrologers after some after you have really gotten into the topic of astrology and doing consultations you quickly realize your job is not necessarily to tell people their future but more importantly, to solve their present and potentially their future. And so most of the time, we astrologers prepare a chart by looking for all the bad problems in the chart and seeing if there are ways out of those problems. You are now a real Jyotisha, right? You're not just what's happening. No, no, you're okay. What's a mess? What's a miss? What can I do? Let me play Mr. or Mrs. Fix it on this chart. Let me play doctor. And we do a bit of surgery. What's going on here? Oh, that Nietzsche, this person's 10th Lord from Moon, which is important for paying the bills and having a life and income, is Nietzsche. Mm, I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. How do I make sure this money is coming? Because Nietzsche means they're going to cry. Every state, Nietzsche, enemy, whatnot, is a state the person will be in in that activity. Let's take a step back. Simple, simple principle. Oh, you have a Nietzsche planet in the ninth house. You are going to cry when it comes to higher education. If you're a man, it'll be about father. If you're a woman, it's about kids. All right. Whatever that ninth house is, because there's a Nietzsche graha there, you will cry. You will be crying, mama, mama, help me. I'm a baby. I need my diaper changed. I'm hungry. I need food. That's what's happening. Okay. So what is Nietzsche makes you Nietzsche. Okay, what is Ucha makes you, that house is making you feel like that. You feel Ucha, you feel Nietzsche, you feel inimical sign, you feel like that. All right? If it's the Lord of the house, then the person of that house makes you feel like that. It's not your attitude problem. It's not that you're, oh, I've seen that in the past, I'm rejecting it. No, no, it's that person who keeps doing it to you. Maybe you're optimistic, you have a exalted planet in the sign and the Lord is Nietzsche. Exalted planet in the house and the Lord is Nietzsche. So you have a good attitude, exalted attitude, and the person keeps putting you down. Funny, hey? Dynamics of the of the signs? Okay, okay. Okay, back to the topic. Excuse me, but it's relevant. You have to understand these simple, simple dynamics. You're making easy predictions now. Oh, you have a Nietzsche planet there. You don't like that. Oh, if you're a Maranastana planet there, you feel like dying in that activity. Marana, I feel like I'm dying. That's your feeling. It's not just something. Lagna Lord Marnastana, the person feels like they're dying when they have to do something Lagna. Lagna is make a decision, decide something in your life. If you have Lagna Lord in Marnastana, you'll probably come to me for a reading. Why? Because you want to delegate the decision to the astrologer, not make the decision yourself. Because you feel like dying when you make the decision. I understand. You need a remedy for that. The astrologer may not be available. Okay. I can only talk to a person every four months. That's my schedule. Okay, Some people have a shorter schedule. Great. But the person is not able to make decisions on their own. 
Maybe they can make simple ones that they've tried and tested, but they have difficulty because of that. So these are avastas the person is in. Now to take the person out of that avasta, you need a bhanga graha. Bhanga graha. So there has there is nicha bhanga grahas. There is also marana karaka bhanga grahas. They are taking you out of the problem. So for any problem, there is a remedy, right? Bhanga grahas. So there's so the word Bhanga Graha has a universal meaning in this regard. It depends on what the problem is, what can take you out. Now, whatever is the Bhanga Graha is not cancelling the problem. Somebody says, oh, but there's Nietzsche, but there's Nietzsche Bhanga, no problem. I said, no, no, there is a problem. But then you get out of the problem. So there will both be the problem and the way out. Both events will happen. It's not that one is overriding the other, saying, no, the problem never starts. No, 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 no. You will go and you will cry. And then somebody will take you out of the tears. That's what's happening. Okay. So then we will say, oh, you are going to cry. So if you're going to cry anyway, why don't you go cry? Why, why wait until you have a reason to cry? Start crying now. You go to the Divine Mother and cry, Mama, Mama, help me, help me. She says, oh, I'll wipe your tears. Thank you, Mama. The Dasha comes. You have already cried. You don't have to cry again. You already know what to do. You already know how to handle this. Problem solved. Life is good. That's how remedies are given. You must experience all karma mentally, emotionally, not necessarily physically. You can cover decades of karma within months, years at most. Okay, back to Nietzsche, Banga. So that, that part also is what explains it, that if there is Nietzsche, Banga, there will be Nietzsche, there will be Banga. Now, before we dwell on that it is Raja Yoga, I must ask, how do you know you are Nietzsche? How do you know it is not the person you beat up who is Nietzsche and you are benefiting from them being Nietzsche? Oh, I won the election. Yes. It's because they got Nietzsche. That person is crying. Why would you want Nietzsche Banga? If you won a fight, a battle, an election because of Nietzsche, then Nietzsche Banga means you will lose. How do you know it's Nietzsche Banga? Okay. Raja Yoga, excuse me. So Nietzsche Banga doesn't always imply Raja Yoga. It doesn't always. It depends on who is Nietzsche in the chart. So I could look at, oh, your 10th Lord from Moon is Nietzsche. Yes, you are going to have a problem with your 10th Lord from Moon Nietzsche. That's very important for career. Notice I didn't even say 10th Lord from the Ascendant. I just went straight to 10th Lord from Moon. I want to see the career. That's going to sort of cover all the fruits you get from your career. Tent Lord from Moon. That's it. I need that. Okay? That and maybe a few other positions. But it's very important to know that Tent Lord from Moon. Because that's what you really use to say, I'm getting my money in the bank, I'm getting my bills paid, I have food on the table. It's a Tent Lord from Moon who is doing that work. That work. It's very important. Very. Don't underestimate it. Career can come from so many plans, but if that one planet is messed up in the chart, you will feel it. Tent Lord from Moon. Tent Lord from Moon in Marnakarakstana, you don't like to work even. You will find every excuse under the sun not to work. Every excuse. I'm sick. I'm coughing. I didn't eat proper breakfast. Lunch wasn't that good. It wasn't tasty. I'm in a bad mood. Okay? I should not work. That's what happens. Marnastan. You feel like dying when you have to work. So, okay. So it is Nietzsche, assume. We're dealing with Nietzsche Banga now. So let's say the planet Nietzsche is Venus, Nietzsche, and Virgo. I have a client who had who's had this. So the person attempted to do some work which is related to Venus. What is Venus? Because Tent Lord from Moon is Venus. Um, I don't remember where the moon was. Was it in Capricorn? I don't remember. Tent Lord from Capricorn would be Venus. Venus is Nietzsche and Virgo. So the person tried to do some Venus work at the age of Venus. 
25-26. Okay? What is Venus work? Maybe they wanted to get into some job related to management. Maybe it was related to clothes. Venus is clothes. Okay? Some type of thing which is related to beauty. All right? And imagery. Maybe they wanted to sell paintings. So that Venus is telling us what activity it was they attempted. And that Venus is Nietzsche showing that it didn't work out. It went miserably. They had to stop that work. They had to close shop. Okay. Now, who will give Venus Nietzsche Banga? Potentially. So then we learn the list. Either Venus has to be Ucha in Namamsha. The grace of Vishnu enables you to come out of the Nietzsche. Venus Ucha in Paishis in Namamsha. That's a rarity to see that. Okay? So the person will come out. This will be feeling like Raja Yoga. It will feel like it. All right? Because they will, you will come out of the Nietzsche of your tent lord from moon. If you are getting a positive tent lord from moon, money is there, you have food on the table, you're happy, your finances are secured for a long time. You will feel like Raj Yoga of your tent lord from moon is well placed. We're dealing with it because it's a very good example of what's bad and what's good. Okay? So, so it became Ucha and Namamsha. Great, you come out of it. You fantastic. Vishnu blesses you. When does he bless you? Does he bless you at 25, 26? Maybe not. He might wait till the age of Jupiter because he's in Paishis Namamsha. Mm -hmm. 31, 32. So between 25 or 26, let's just say 26 to make it easier, until 32, those six years, you are crying. And then you come out. All right? But how do you come out? It was Venus who got Nietzsche Banga, right? The same gallery or imagery or clothes or management type work you were doing from 26 started working. It started working. It started paying the bills. So you didn't give up and eventually it worked. Maybe you had to close shop, then you started again. The same thing and it worked out. Okay? All right. So far so good. Yeah. But this is the only way, this is not the only way that Nietzsche Bank can happen. There are, there are largely three, two more ways to this. This is one way, we have two more essentially. Now, the two other ways depend on the Banga Graha. So Venus is not the Banga Graha. Venus is himself getting Nietzsche Banga. You came out of it yourself. You just stood fast and continued, you got out of it yourself. No, if you have a planet debilitated, you need somebody else to take you out or, your, or Vishnu to take you out. Vishnu was Namamsha. No other Varga can take you out. Only Namamsha is permitted. Except in the Rashi, somebody else can come and support you and say, why don't you do this instead? So imagine Venus debilitated. It is in Virgo debilitated. The Lord of the sign of Virgo is Mercury. He can take you out. Also see the Lord of its exaltation sign of Venus, which is Pisces, Jupiter. Jupiter can take you out. Okay. Who gets exalted in the sign Venus is debilitated in? Virgo, right? Who is exalted there? Mercury again. So Mercury is holding two powers in this chart. Two powers. And Jupiter is holding the third power. Some people will say, Visti, in that case, if I need three powers, could I not count the nodes as lords of Pisces and Virgo? I will not disagree with that. I just keep in mind the nodes don't have pockets to keep money in, so I won't really rely on them. So I have to keep that in mind. What type of Nietzsche Banga will the nodes give to any Graha? They can give knowledge, yes. Can they give money? No. So I don't care. I don't need him. I'm talking about Tenth Lord from Moon. If I don't get money in the bank, I don't care. Oh, you will have knowledge of getting money. Will you earn anything? No. Oh, then, huh. Again, that shoulder is getting it again, right? Same shoulder. So, so this is what's going on. Okay, you have to keep this in mind. Yes, use the nodes. When? Oh, it's about money. Ah, no nodes. I'm sorry, no nodes. Mm -hmm. Thoughts, knowledge, intelligence, brains, mantra, spirituality, use the nodes. Material bank account? Yeah. They will make you spend money on nothing. 
all right? They'll make you put money into cryptocurrency and not get the money out. Okay, they can do that. Some people are successful in crypto. It's not because of the notes. Okay, now, so back to where we were. So Jupiter or Mercury can take v, this Venus out of its Nietzsche, right? What is the earliest that Mercury can do so? Around the age of 29 or 30. That's his age. Mercury's age is 29 or 30. He will say, I will take you out. Come, come, let's try. I will take you out. But that Mercury has to be well-placed. If he's not well-placed, then he can't take you out. What is well-placed? The moon is the one who controls all Nietzsche and Nietzsche Banga. And he does so through the Kendras. That's his power. That is how he makes the signs strong. Think of the signs. The signs decide what is Uche, what is Nietzsche. Who created the signs? The sun. Who will help the sun out? The moon will help him out. Okay? That's it. So the moon helps out all the signs to come out of their Nietzsche. It's like a reflection of light. Who is the fruit of that? Mm -hmm. So if that's the case, then you need a planet to be in a good place from the moon. The moon only measures good from its Kendra. It doesn't believe in anything else. He says, my life is tide based. There is high tide, low tide, finished, done. High tide, one seven moon, low tide, four ten moon. That's it. Nothing else for me, it matters. So if a planet like Mercury or Jupiter, the planets who, can, who are Banga Grahas for Venus, are in Kendra from the Lagna ah, or a moon, one of these two, then that Graha is giving Nietzsche Banga to Venus. Otherwise, that shoulder thing again, out. Forget it. But it doesn't mean the Graha won't try. Let's say that person has um, Cancer Lagna. Mm -hmm. Okay? And Mercury is in Taurus. That's a bad example. Mercury is in, in, uh, in, 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 in Aquarius, 8th house. Okay? So in that case, Mercury says, Oh, I am your 2930. I'm going to try. Because I am responsible for giving Venus Nietzsche Banga, I will try to give Nietzsche Banga to Venus. But he's in eighth house. So he says, another pipe dream. Out. Lose more money. So now knowing that there's a Banga Graha is useful to time when another failed attempt to come out of that Nietzsche of Venus happened. They closed that attempt, that business or whatnot, that job looking. They started on the market at 25, 26. Venus was Nietzsche. It, it failed. They said, I'm not going back to work until we find something new. Okay, we're waiting. Mercury comes along. He's in the eighth house. You try something late to Mercury. Mercury, oh, I'm going to start uh, speaking. I'm going to write a book. I'm going to uh, uh, do something to do with design. Mercury's design. Venus is related to imagery, so Mercury says, oh, let me do, do some design. You couldn't do imagery. You couldn't paint. Let me draw the, 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 uh, the, the, scri the, the scribbles. All right, let me scribble some design. So then Mercury attempted. He's in eighth house. You absolutely hated it because it was eighth house. You threw it out the window, and it failed. You lost money as well at 29.30. Okay, next prediction. Okay, Jupiter's going to try 31.32, and maybe Jupiter was in Aries in the 10th house. From Cancer to Aries is 10,000. And you said, oh, I figured it out. I'm going to become a teacher. And it's ninth lord in the 10th, ninth lord of specialization. Maybe you go take a course to become a teacher. Then you become a teacher, 31, 32, at least before 34 years of age. You are now saying, ah, now I'm established career-wise. I am paying off the... The debt I had from that lost business at 25, forget that thing I tried at 30, you know, maybe, maybe that was an idea, it didn't work out, somebody told me, and now I'm fine, I came out of the Nietzsche, I'm out, I did it. Kendra from Lagna is required for you to figure it out yourself. Kendra from Moon, Nietzsche Banga can happen in Kendra from the Moon. But it has to be the Banga Grahas taking you out of Nietzsche. Always the Banga Grahas. Always. So those same planets, maybe one of them is in Kendra to Moon. Let's say 
In this particular example, the person had Venus Nietzsche in for Cancer, this is third house, right? And we said Mercury was in Aquarius. Let us say we put Moon in Scorpio now. I want to give a good solid example just to make sure we are understanding it. Mm -hmm. Moon is also Nietzsche, somebody will say. I, I don't mind that. I'm not looking for Moon Nietzsche now. I want, oh, but this is a bad example. I need a 10th Lord from the Moon to be Venus, Nietzsche. So I'm going to put Moon in which sign now? I will put it in uh, Leo. Okay? Moon in Leo, 10th Lord from him is Venus, placed in the Nietzsche stan. Moon is in second house in Leo. Now let's put Mercury back where he was, Aquarius. So now Mercury and Moon are in quadrants to each other. So at the age of 2930 of Mercury, there is an attempt for Nietzsche Banga of Venus. But there is a problem. There's a problem. The Moon will only give Nietzsche Banga if you are changing your mind about something. Okay? In fact, my Guruji will say, don't, don't say that to a new client. Give them mantra. If they do the mantra, it will work. Otherwise, it won't work. The Nietzsche Banga won't happen. Because from Lagna, it's automatic. It's automatic. From Lagna, it's, I know what to do. But from Moon, you need to have some, you, you, you need to start looking at what is it I'm missing in society? What is it I don't know about this society I'm in? Who, I need to talk to the right people. I need to start seeing that opportunity in society. I'm not seeing it. I'm like this looking around, you know? I only see like barely a third of what's going on in my own life. You know, this is how people are. They're like this, okay? You know, left side of the brain, sympathetic nervous system acting. It's like this, barely you see what's going on. You're just seeing what's in front of you. You, didn't, you know, you walked out, you turned on the car, you drove, you didn't see that the plants are hanging, that the that the, the paveway was crooked, that somebody had spray painted on your walls. You don't see any of that. You come home and you notice on your way to the door, oh, look, there's something on the wall. Okay? It's like this. So that moon requires you to open your mind to see the other opportunities in society. So mantra is required for you to open your mind, to change your mind. Some people say, oh, if you learn a new language, you can change your perspective on things. Yes, let's say you have Mercury in Kenra to Moon and you choose to learn a new language. Suddenly, Mercury gives Nietzsche Banga to Venus. It could be that way. All right? So then Nietzsche Banga can come. And always we're looking for, if it's not coming from Navamsha, the, the, the Nietzsche, the, the, sorry, the Banga Graha must be in Kendra from Lagna, Kendra from Moon. Now it sounds like Nietzsche Banga Rajok. If, we, if the person is not doing something actively, a remedy for the Kendras from Moon, that age 2930 will pass you by and you're waiting to become that teacher at 3132. It'll pass you by. No chance. Hard, very hard. As is Mercury was innate from Lagna. You'll hate it. You'll run away. Even if you start that activity, you'll probably run away anyway. And wait for that Jupiter 31, 32. Because it was 8 from Lagna. Like that. That is Nietzsche Banga. Proper. This is done properly. Where every Graha that is going to give Banga is taken into account and read. Will it do it? Will it not? Will it do it? Will it not? The Dasha did it come? Did it not? Did the time come? Did it not? Did the age come? Did it not? And expand this. This is for Nietzsche. You think Ucha is much better? Ucha is maintained by the same Graha. Let's say Venus was now exalted in Pisces. 25, 26 years of age. Yes, I made it. Success. <laughs> I started this clothing business online and it is making money. Yes. And then you hit 2930 and Mercury was in the 8th from Lagna and suddenly the client said, hey, we heard that you are not sourcing natural materials and you are using child labor. Pew! 2930, your business is sucks. I mean, it's terrible. 
you're complaining to the astrologer what happened it was going so good 25 26 years of age it was starting off very well my bangladeshis they were working hard for me you know and suddenly this thing happened and it's all down mm -hmm. you know i'm now everybody says i'm a slave master mercury you know you treated people poorly who are working for you yes curse from last life maybe even <laughs> hinted so and then you went through that so the ucha could not be maintained because the planet who is supposed to ensure your ucha jupiter and mercury mercury was one of them he's holding two levers in the chart of three you have three right three each of them are giving you 33 percent how much nietzsche banga do you get or how much ucha do you maintain how much so if mercury for venus falls you lose 66 percent oh my goodness wow mm -hmm. and you're then praying to the astrologers help me help me come out of this and then that jupiter came finally in kendra to the lagna and said okay we'll bring you back through jupiter mm -hmm. mercury was really poor for you so even for ucha don't take it for granted it stays ucha it won't stay ucha okay good huh Mm -hmm. and the timing which ages it's happening yeah so we can take this one step further and uh, then what we do is that um, e when you read a chart you know i was i, I made it easy i said 10th lord from moon okay it's many planets would be nietzsche which are not so from moon it could be seventh lord from Venus for a love, a relationship which starts up poorly and then it ends up good later on and things like that. Um, but things get very nuanced as soon as you open the Aruda Lagna. From the Aruda Lagna, then say a benefic is debilitated in third or sixth from the Aruda Lagna. And I say, congratulations. You're set, man. Your Nietzsche is fantastic for you. Pray it never gets Nietzsche Banga. Never, never, never. It gets Nietzsche Banga, you lose. That's it. You're, so, you're, you're in prob trouble. Okay? Or the planet is exalted. A benefic, let's say Venus, goes to the, um, it goes to the sixth from the Aruda Lagna, exalted in Rashi chart. Nietzsche Navamsha. I'm waiting for that Nietzsche to happen. Waiting. When does it happen? When does it happen? Because until it happens, you are losing every day. Because you don't want strong benefics in third or sixth from the Aruda Lagna. You don't want it. They will beat you up because it's the enemy who's benefiting from you being too kind. Okay? And then you'll say, no, no, Visti, we want benefics there. We want to be sadhu sitting in the Himalayas. I said, but I thought you were married and had two kids. Well, what do I do for you? How do I help you now? You know, you're going to create even more bad karma and run away from them. Trouble, right? Right. Because that Venus is also going to decide whether your partner will stay with you. And if your Venus is in third or sixth from the Aruda, or twelfth from the Aruda, you are in trouble, buddy. Okay? And you better hope it doesn't get too strong, especially in third or sixth, because then the partner will wipe you clean in the divorce. Okay? Uh, right. So the, the nuance when we get to Aruda gets really interesting all right that so when i re, when i read aruda i mean when i read nietzsche and all of this and ucha for that matter i'm always looking okay where is it from the aruda really what's happening here okay i hope that answers that joe it certainly does but it, it, there's so much to look at <laughs> but the, you have to sort of, you know, you have to mug up the Banga Grahas. That's what you need to mug up. Right. And the beauty of knowing that is that you develop this habit. Okay, I'm looking at a, a planet and that planet won't decide everything. The Lord of its sign will decide something. All right. The Karaka of its house will decide something. Like in case of Marna Karakstan, the planet is in Marna Karakstan. All right. Let's say Jupiter in third house. Mars has to take Jupiter out because he's, he's Karaka. Maybe Jupiter is in the sign of Taurus. 
then Venus has to take him out. So these two planets can take you out. The, Lord of, the Karaka of the house and the Lord of the house. They become Banga Karakas or Banga Grahas for that Marnastana. A planet is in a curse. Okay, apply the same thing. Who's the Lord of the sign of where it is placed? What's the Karaka of that house where it is placed? Can they take him out? All right? Can they, saw, can they save this, this planet? So now you're expanding it and you're just saying, oh, every planet in every house or sign has other planets or, um, or Karakas who are taking responsibility for helping that Graha. Now Jyotish becomes useful. Right. Okay? Yeah. And the other side, even a good placed Yoga can be defeated because the Lord of Karaka is poorly placed. There we go. Okay. Wow. Thank you for sharing that with us. Pleasure.